All right, today I'm out here. I'm gonna start prepping the uh, golf cart body panels uh, to get them ready to be able to spray. They need to be sanded down. I actually pressure washed them in the springtime just to be able to get off the big stuff. And then we're going to just sand it down with some uh, 40 grit, get the rest of that stuff off that we can. Um, and then sand the areas in here that really weren't sanded originally good enough. That's why it didn't stick and it just started chipping. So um, we'll get the majority of the stuff off and then work at those little, little spots. <laughs> save you from watching me sand everything for uh, hours on end uh, I'm just gonna cut to show you how what we ended up this is the front piece right here so we actually sanded this all the way down with uh, 40 grit 40 grits pretty um, aggressive um, and you normally wouldn't use something like 40 grit to sand something for paint um, it does leave a lot of you know deep scratches and actually uh, chews up uh, this fiberglass quite a bit but that's actually kind of what I'm looking for because since we are going to be spraying this with a, a bed liner, the bed liner is super thick and it's really going to give it something to, to grab onto. So it'll actually be making um, not just a chemical bond, but actually a mechanical bond and all the deep scratches that, that are left with the, with the uh, 40 grit sandpaper. So, so a couple little things we're just going to um, clean up a little bit here. Um, some deep gouges that are in here just from... We hit a few branches here and there with this golf cart before, so we're just gonna fill those with a little bit of Bondo um, and sand those down. And this piece will be pretty much ready to spray at that point. Moving on to the bigger section, the body here. Um, this wasn't sanding off very easily. Um, it, it actually is adhered pretty well, but I really wanna get it all the way down because I don't wanna have any problems with this chipping later. So what I ended up doing is actually getting some aircraft paint over here which is this this is just rust-oleum rust aircraft remover it works really well um something was wrong with the tip on the spray can so it wasn't spraying out like it really should have which kind of slowed me down a bit but basically what i did was i sprayed it all over this section this was completely um covered in bed liner before so I sprayed it all in there, let it sit for about an hour, and it pretty much scraped right off. It came off very easy. The rest of this, I'll, I'll just end up sanding with the 40 grit as well. Um, I only did it on that front portion and this back portion, which you can see took it, you know, 90% of it all the way off. So again, I'll just sand that off pretty easy. As for the rest of this, I am going to go ahead and just do the same thing. I'm going to get another can of that remover and uh, get this stripped off here, and then. Basically, it's just the same thing, sanding down um, and making it look just like that, and then these will be ready to spray. Okay, after many, many hours of sanding, um, we got this thing completely cleaned up here, all the paint's completely removed. Um, it's looking really good. So we actually went ahead and filled a couple little holes with some holes and some scratches, uh, just with a little bit of body filler, um, and we just cleaned up a couple little things. The undercoating, the Raptor liner we're going to be spraying on it, um, is going to cover up a lot of imperfections and whatnot. Um, but we just filled in some some deep gouges on uh, these panels with some body filler just to clean it up a bit. So um, I'm just going to blow everything off here, wipe everything down. I'm going to put a bunch of plastic down so we don't have any issues with getting Raptor liner all over the place. And these are ready to spray. <laughs>
just finished spraying. Um, really happy with how it came out. Um, see if I can get a close up here. So what I did was actually the technique I used was used a lower pressure and stayed a little bit further away. Um, I really wanted a, a, a really coarse um, texture to these panels. When I originally sprayed them, I did a very smooth coat, which also looks great and holds up very well. I mean, this stuff's very durable when it dries. Um, but I did want a rougher sort of uh, look on this one. And I needed to do that in order to cover up the 40 grit, grit scratches from the sandpaper we used. Um, one thing you might have noticed uh, in, the, in the footage that I was spraying is that my feet were constantly sticking to the floor. So that's one thing I remembered from last time I sprayed this stuff is that you really want to put something down on the ground because you can see all the overspray that uh, ends up on the floor. The problem is it is so sticky when you're walking on it that your feet just keep sticking to it. Kept pulling the plastic up. Makes it a little bit difficult, but not impossible. Um, so just keep that in mind. Um, yeah, like I said, I'm really happy with how it came out. I actually just have the heater on back there right now to um, let this stuff set up. So I'll keep that on for a couple hours. Just keep the temperature warm in here and let this stuff set. And once it does, it's pretty much all set to just sort of get uh, put back together. Um, for now, like I said, we'll just let it dry and then we'll just keep going at it. So just to wrap up this video, um, I'm not going to take it all the way with completing, putting all the body panels back on. I'm going to do another video um, once everything's together, a sort of walkthrough of um, everything we've done. But for now, I just wanted to get these body panels on here and show you the finish after the Raptor liner has been sprayed and uh, sort of the progress of where we're at right now, getting this thing back together. Um, the main thing, like I said, I wanted to highlight in this video was just the Raptor liner itself. So, um, again, if you guys have any questions or anything, please let me know. Um, don't forget to like and subscribe if you haven't already to see future videos. Um, the Raptor liner I've used quite a bit. I've done a bunch of off-road uh, vehicles, Jeeps, my FJ Cruiser, um, some parts on that. So I've, I've used it quite a bit, so I'm pretty familiar with how it works and... All the steps you need to do along the way and again I'm, I'm really happy with how this has come out on the golf cart and I think this time around we prepped it I mean we definitely prepped it right this time we really got aggressive with the the sanding we made sure we got all the way down to the original paint and fiberglass um, you know the that's the one thing that it doesn't matter how you spray it on what product you use if you do not prep it correctly you are 100% gonna have problems um, so that is the key. You need a good foundation for anything. And that's, that's pretty much with a basis to go by with anything you're doing. Um, so yeah, like I said, like, subscribe, comment with any questions and uh, we'll see you guys in the next video.